been a long day as you can see I'm in the truck still and today was the truck show in Steinbeck I was really looking forward to it but uh, uh, this trip we're on is taking a little longer than uh, than we had expected and I understand there was a few of you guys that went to the truck show hoping to see me there and some of you actually drove quite a distance in from Minnesota and I, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there to meet you uh, I, I, I really hope that we get another chance to meet one day and uh, I'm sorry that I didn't post somewhere that I wasn't going to be there I don't know why I didn't even think of doing that but I feel pretty bad now uh, I was planning on being at this truck show uh, it's right in Steinbeck in my hometown uh, I said I was gonna be there and uh, we uh, we're on this trip right now we have to go pick up a load in Indiana and bring it on back and the trip this week dragged out a little bit it's trucking that happens and I'm not going to get home now uh, or I didn't get home in time for that truck show and so for those of you who did go there uh, I I'm, I'm really sorry that uh, I couldn't make it I hope you guys had a blast though I'm sure you did I'm, I, I heard the truck show was amazing I'm, I heard there was lots of trucks there lots of people there it was a good turnout uh, disappointed that I couldn't be there but that's oh, that's trucking but I should have said something on my social media I should have posted something to say hey uh, go check it out anyways but uh, if, you, if you're wondering where I am uh, I, I'm not gonna make it I, sh I should have said something like that along those lines of my, and I didn't and I just wanted to say I'm sorry uh, if you if you went there just to meet me I'm still here in all blue So, uh, yeah, I didn't even really think about it. Like, uh, I'm, I'm having a good time on this trip here. Uh, we've had a good week. Went a little further than I usually do because we had to pick up the load in Indiana, right? We picked up the load in Middlebury, Indiana. It's not too far into Indiana, but just around the corner from Chicago. And a little further than we were expecting. And it took a little longer than we thought getting back. <laughs> and then... Uh, I parked here for the night and I, I went to go read some messages and there's a message saying hey trucker Josh uh, hey we drove up from Minnesota to the truck show was, we didn't see you there but they, they had such a good attitude about it like, yeah we had a good time we tried Tim Hortons we explored Steinbeck a little bit it's too bad we couldn't meet you I'm so sorry I feel bad should have said something but glad you went to check it out anyways glad you went to check it out uh, it was a good fundraiser uh, for a good cause. I hope they I hope they did really good there. I'll have to try to be there next year. Sorry, all your comments are just coming in now all at once. If you're watching this video later, I'm filming this live. Uh, I'm just going to go through your comments here, just off to the side of my screen here. Uh, ben asks, how's Britt? She's doing really good. Thank you for asking. Hey, from Newfoundland. Hello. Never fear, Alvin is here. Hey, Alvin. You've been you've been following here for a long time. I always know it's you because you leave that comment. <laughs> you came. Bruce says you came all the way from Georgia to see me, or you would. Jeff says, thanks for going live and explaining what happened. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to go live right now. I'm tired. I need to be going to bed, but I, I wanted to address this right away because I should have I should have posted something, but we've been in such a rush just trying to get back, and this week has been so crazy, it didn't even dawn on me that I should probably, that, that people might actually be coming out there to maybe hang out with me a little bit. It's not my truck show. It's it's I didn't set it up. I had nothing to do with setting it up. It's... Uh, 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 s uh, someone from in town there who sets these up regularly. Uh, this is the first one since all the COVID madness, so it was a bit of a special event. And it's a fundraiser for some local charities. Uh, I have nothing to do with the show itself, so I'm, I am glad you guys went to go check it out anyways. I wanted to support them in what they were doing there. But uh, some people uh, were just expecting to maybe uh, hang out and see me there for a little bit. And uh, I should have done my part and said, hey, 
Uh, I hope you go check it out anyways, but uh, I'm unfortunately not going to make it. Sask Heavy Hall says, that's trucking. That it is. Trucking uh, is filled with uh, unfortunate disappointments sometimes. <laughs> I love what I do. I love what I do. But sometimes it, uh, sometimes things just take a lot longer than you want them to. Timmy says, don't feel bad, Josh. Your schedule isn't written in stone. Stuff happens. That's the thing. My schedule is exactly what you said. It's not written in stone. I wish it was. But this truck show was on a Saturday, and I'm home most weekends. I, I felt pretty confident telling you guys, hey, I'll be there. It's a Saturday, August 27th. I'm always home on the weekend. I'll be there. And of course, the one weekend where I couldn't make it back on time is the weekend where the truck show was happening. And you know, it's uh, it seems like whenever I have something planned and I tell you guys I'm gonna be somewhere, something happens in trucking. You know, at first uh, it was the uh, the Career Expo in Ile de Chaine. Uh, some of you guys came out to meet me there. And uh, I was three hours late. And then it was the uh, the Keystone Open House. Said I'd be there at uh, what, 10 a.m. And a bunch of you showed up there. And I was late. And now the truck show. So I'm just feeling kind of bummed out. I'm feeling bad. I feel like I'm just letting, letting you guys down a little bit. And I'm just going to have to adjust in the future how I announce these things. Because I want to go to these events and I want to be able to tell you where I'm going to be at these events that we can meet because you all know me I'm just looking at a camera right now you're looking at my face I, I don't know who you all are but I would love to meet you so I would love to be able to plan these things but trucking is difficult to make plans with Bruce you came all the way from Georgia to see you at the truck show are you, are you serious where are you staying did you fly in? Did you drive in? Are you serious? All the way from Georgia? I'm sorry. Oh, Kenneth James, life happens. It's the way things go. Yeah. Brandon says, I love your Jakes. My Jake breaks. I love them too. A little too much. I hope I don't get myself into trouble with them. <laughs> I really like them. Uh, thanks. That comment cheered me up a bit. Hope I'm good. I'm I'm doing good, yeah. Just bummed out. But Matthew says we forgive you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for all your comments. I wish I could read through them all here. Hi, Jessica. Say hi to Ethan from me. Are there those trait in May? Message or chain? Crack a cold one and let it blow over. Well, soon. Soon. When I'm not in Old Blue. I'm trying to find Bruce in the comments here. Did you really come all the way from Georgia or are you pulling my leg? Call him Georgia. Are you still there? You staying somewhere in town? But yeah. Uh, little Fire says I'm confused. Uh, maybe you tuned in a little bit after I started. That's okay. I started talking right away before everybody got in here. There was a truck show in my hometown today. And uh, I had said I was going to be there. And uh, trucking sort of happened. This trip got stretched out a little bit and I wasn't able to make it and uh, I didn't and I forgot to mention anything on my social media not thinking that people might want to see me there uh, and I got a message I just stopped now for the night and I got a message and I, I read it and said they'd come up from Minnesota to meet me uh, and I felt terrible 
I felt terrible. But uh, they were very positive. They went and explored. They said they explored Canadian Tire. They went and got some Tim Hortons, explored town a little bit. It was their first visit into Canada. So I hope you guys enjoyed your visit. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was, I was, just felt bad. Britt says she still loves me. She can always cheer me up. I called her first. As soon as I got that message, I called her and I was all bummed out. I vented to her for a little bit. She listened. <laughs> she puts up with all my venting. She's the one I vent to. She's a really, really good wife. Because I was supposed to be home. She was expecting me home today, too. So, remember, it's not just you guys that are disappointed. She's, I'm sure she's disappointed, too. I was supposed to be... What's the time right now? 10 o'clock. I was supposed to be laying in bed with her right now. Watching a movie or something. Or something. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That's the camera. He said he reached for her. Ethan reached 490 subscribers. That is awesome. That is awesome. And he'll keep growing. He'll keep growing. Just keep at it. Thank you for all the comments here. I'm reading through them. I know that when you watch this later, uh, you guys can't see the comments as they come in. So sometimes it seems a little weird that I'm staring off to the side of the screen here. Uh, as the comments are coming in, I'm just uh, just reading. Where's Bruce? I saw your comments in here, Bruce. I want to know. Are you really, are you still in town? You said you came all the way up from Georgia. Oh, there it is. It's not a big deal a road, into a road trip. You like doing road trips. A road trip from Georgia is not just a road trip. That's a three-day drive. It's a three-day drive from Georgia. Send me an email uh, if you're still in town. At truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com if you came all the way up from Georgia pretty hot up here today I think it's really hot trucking life pro what are we apologizing for? Uh, I just, uh, I said I was going to be at a truck show event today and I, I couldn't make it and some people showed up and were looking for me. Uh, I felt bad that I, I didn't make an announcement that I wasn't going to be there after all. And uh, I, I just feel real bad. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone steady here. Let's put this down here. There we go. I'm sorry guys, you guys are probably getting dizzy. I'm tired. Harmon's taking your AZ test. Is that your class one? I think that's your class one, right? Uh, that must be in Ontario. Any tips? Uh, don't hit anything. Uh, make sure when you go forward, you put it in D. And when you want to go backwards, you put it in R. <laughs> uh, my attempt at being funny. Uh, do you take your tests in an automatic? I hope that they send people for tests in manual trucks still, but I, I'm pretty sure that that's probably not a thing anymore, is it? Uh, what's with Canada and restrictions? I don't want to talk about it. It makes me angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's still restrictions at uh, uh, the federal level from the whole COVID fiasco. That's for a different time. I'm already feeling bummed out. I don't want to think about that. Good question though. I'm not I'm not dismissing your question. It's a valid question. Good question. I'd like to know too what's up with that, but maybe another time. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah. Where's the weasel? He's at home with his family enjoying uh, a little bit of home time. It's been home for a couple of weeks. The best trucker on YouTube. Well, thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. I don't know if I'm the best. I don't know if I'm the best. I've been watching Trucking with Schmidt a lot lately. I've gotten hooked on his videos. He's like a calm guy. He uh, he uh, just 
he calms me down. I, I really like the way he does his videos. Just simple, to the point, always in a positive mood. So he's a great YouTuber too. Where am I doing this live stream from? Well, I'd love to let you know, but in the spirit of internet safety, uh, I'll just say that I am in North America. <laughs> uh, sorry, I usually I don't uh, uh, share my, my live location online. Oh, hey, uh, Harmon, you're saying it's gonna be in a manual? Oh, good. Good. Respect. If you're doing a, a, if you're getting your class one, your CDL, your AZ, whatever you call it where you are, you should definitely pass in a manual transmission. Don't let them, uh, don't let them catch you with those automatics. You want to be able to drive any truck you're put into because you pass in an automatic, you have restrictions or you get put into a manual truck and you don't know what you're doing. It's best to learn in manual even if they are sort of phasing them out. Mine will never be phased out. I got an 18 speed. It's right here. You need to know how to drive that. New to my channel. Clement, well, welcome here. Checked a few hundred videos of mine. I've had, uh, yeah, there's, uh, uh, I have quite a few videos. Welcome here. <laughs> I keep missing your message, Summer Gamer. I'm going to scroll up and look for it right now. What is going on with my phone here? Can't I hold this can't I hold this thing straight? Okay. Summer gamer, I'm scrolling up right now looking for your uh Did it come through? Oh, there it is. I'm trying to catch up on some videos now. I haven't watched in a while, but I'm catching up and I've watched since 2011. Awesome, man. That's a lot of videos to catch up on, depending on how many you missed. <laughs> I got a lot of content on the internet. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of me out there. Want to look as good as me when shifting them gears? You know what? I bet you could look better than me because I still miss a gear now and then, and uh, I can't, I haven't quite one hundred percent mastered it. It's been sixteen years. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I haven't. I don't know. It's always the. Uh, I'd be fifth. I don't know. I don't count. I don't know the numbers. I just go one, two, one, two, three, four, and it's always the third one that wants to skip out on me, or I'll forget that my Jake brakes are on, and uh, I take a little longer, I guess, between shifts, and then the Jake brake drops my RPM right down, and then I gotta try to find it again, and and everybody's looking at me like I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just sitting here. I'm sorry. Sorry, and then I gotta cut out that footage of me trying to find a gear because I don't want to look completely crazy and dumb. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Trucking Life Pro. I'm 13 and want to be a trucker, but my parents don't want me to be. Do I go for it? Uh, I'm not getting involved in that, bud. But, uh, you know, I'm sure your parents would be happy as long as you're happy. But, uh,. You do what makes you happy. You, you, uh... I can tell you that I have a lot of fun driving truck. But if you want to make a lot, a lot of money and you want to be rich, you're not going to get rich driving a truck. But life's not always about getting rich. I mean, I wouldn't mind being rich. I'd love to be rich, actually. I'd love to have tons of money. Like, lots of money. But in order to live comfortably nowadays, like, a lot of money doesn't go very far anymore. Back to the question, though. Uh, should you go for it? I'm not I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, have a good backup, you know? In case you don't like trucking. Once you get into it, it's, it's a different lifestyle. Like, today I'm pretty bummed out that uh, I missed an event I was looking forward to all year. Uh, but at the same time, I had a lot of fun all week. It, uh, I had a lot of fun driving truck, but you miss... You miss events sometimes, and that's just part of it. You know, it's not going to be the last special event that I miss. But 
You do what makes you happy, but it would be a good idea to have a good backup. Uh, <clears throat> I would say focus. Well, again, I don't want to tell you what to do, D depending on where you are, because uh, I don't I don't know you yet. But uh, I would always recommend trades. People always need a plumber. People always need electricians. You're always going to need a truck driver. Uh, there's a lot of courses in universities right now that serve absolutely no purpose and people are paying out tens of thousands of dollars for these courses that serve no purpose so just make sure that whatever schooling you do go for uh, will help you get a job after you're done does that make sense I'm referring to like gender studies and stuff those courses are not going to do anything for you. They cost a lot of money and they're going to do nothing but mess up your mind. Just uh, trades. Think trades. Uh, hi, Josh. Love the videos. I have a pretty good idea. I know where you are. Uh, okay. It is beautiful where I am, but I think everywhere is beautiful. Uh, I can't pronounce that username. Sweet What? That is the most unique username I have ever seen. Uh, Josh, do you know any owner operators with a day cap? No, I don't know any. Actually, that's a lie. I do know one. I do know one. Yeah, he uh, pulled some of our trailers. When I was city driving, uh, there was a guy who uh, came in with a, a day cab who would help us pull our trailers around sometimes. But it's it's not very common. You can't make a lot of money with that. Jerry Thorne says, Do you ever get stalkers or crazy people show up? Not in the way that you're thinking, I don't think. Uh, I have a pretty tame audience. You guys are all really great. And uh, majority of you know boundaries. Uh, there's been some instances in the past where it's gotten uncomfortable for me, uh, but uh, nothing, nothing to write a book about or anything. Oh boy, so many comments to go through here, guys. Josh, nice name, Josh Baruth. Love the videos. I have a pretty good idea. Oh, I read that one already. It's a beautiful area. I'm tired. I read your comment twice. <laughs> uh, wonder, Steve, you had asked what's going on. Steve Given. Yeah, I, uh, there was an event that I said I was going to be at, and um, I ended up not being able to make it. I'm still here on the road. Uh, couldn't make it, and I didn't tell anybody that I wasn't able to make it. I was just bummed out all by myself and didn't say anything and I should have said something because some people showed up and were looking for me and wanted to say hi to me and they drove a little little bit of a distance, quite a distance to come there and uh, I felt really bad and I just wanted to jump online here and say I'm sorry. Uh, I feel pretty bummed out about that. Harmon says, working in the trades is so underrated these days. I don't know why so many people hate on them. I think they get a lot of hate because they don't have very much student debt and they make twice as much as people who spent five times as much on their education. They make a lot more money than a lot of the people who went to university for, you know, all kinds of weird degrees. I don't know why people hate on them. I don't know. I'm a blue collar guy. I think that they're the best draws, working with your hands. Uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of from that. You should be proud of that. Everybody needs a plumber. There's nothing wrong with being a plumber. You're always going to have work. That's one thing that's always people need. We're all going to eat and that food comes back out and it's got to go somewhere and someone needs to uh, fix the things that take care of that. Chad says, it's understandable you couldn't make the truck show. What brand of truck engine is your favorite? Mine is Cat, even though they don't make semi-engines anymore. Uh, I do like Caterpillar too. Detroit is a good engine. I have a Cummins, so uh, I guess I'm a Cummins fan now. It's, this engine's really good. It's turning me into a big Cummins fan. Uh, those three, I think, are my favorite. 
James says his wife Claudia says hi. Hello. Hello. Johnny says, don't waste your money on college unless you're going for accounting, medical, or law. That's great advice. That's what I should have said before. If you're still listening there. There you are. Uh, trucking life. Uh, unless you're going for accounting, uh, or you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer, uh, university is often not worth the cost. And that's a whole other story. Now, I, I saw in a newspaper in the U.S. the other day that they're going to forgive a bunch of student debt. With what money? Like, what? Say I'm the bank and I give someone $50,000 to go to school. And suddenly they don't owe me that money anymore? Wait, someone's going to have to pay me that money because I borrowed it out. So, what, the government's going to pay me the money now? Who's going to pay the government the money? Where's that money going to come from? The inflation's already through the roof. and They're just passing it out like hot. I don't know. Off topic. I just saw that on a newspaper and I stopped and I was just dumbfounded. It's like, you're going to do what? I'm not a politician. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm a truck driver. <laughs> but what my point is, is university is very expensive. Very expensive and is not always worth the investment. Unless you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, or uh, something along those lines. Uh, but you said you're 13, so you have some time to think about it. Uh, take your time. Don't rush into it. After high school, it's not like you've got to rush straight into a career. Wait till you're ready until you know what you want to do. Just don't take too much time off because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to wait forever. You don't want to be in uh, mom and dad's basement until you're 45. Am I running 24 fives or 22 fives? I'm running 22 fives with low profile tires. Uh, 24s are a little bit too big for me. I think they look kind of, look, not my, they don't look funny, but just not my style. Or a little big. A little big and heavy. Hi, Josh. Uh, Buckets Life said, Checking in from Oregon, my father was killed in a trucking accident on my birthday three years ago. I was raised in the passenger seat. You remind me of the look my dad always had when he drove. I'm so sorry to hear that, that he passed away and on your birthday, too. It sounds like you've got some really good memories to look back on with him. Marty Schramm says, I am an electrician and just retired after 35 years in the trade. There you go. Everyone's always going to need electricians, right? Every building that goes up, someone's got to put the electricity in there. And it's not going to be me because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm going to kill myself. So you need the electricians to come in. You could also be a framer. You could frame the house itself. You see how everybody sort of works together? Every trade works together to uh, to build something. If there's a house being built, there's somebody out there that's cutting the trees down. And then there's somebody out there, there's a truck driver out there who brings those trees that got cut down to the mill. And then there's somebody out there who mills the wood. Is that how you say it? Mills the wood? Turns it into usable lumber. And then me, the truck driver, shows up and hauls that lumber to the lumber yard. And then the lumber gets hauled to wherever it's being built. And then the framers build the house, and then the electricians come in, I don't know if it's in this order, the electricians come in, set up all the wiring, and then the plumbers come in, set up all the plumbing, and then the roofers come in, do the roof, and then the drywallers come in, do all the drywall, the painters come in, do all the painting, the flooring guys and the finishing carpenters come in and do all of the uh, the cabinets and finish finishing, uh, the, the, the garage door installers come and install the garage door, the landscapers come in, landscape the yard, and lay down the sod. There's lots of different trades out there. Uh, you could be a part of the team or a part of the chain anywhere you want to be. Uh, you could be the person landscaping the yard. You could be the person installing the garage door. You could be the person doing the electricity. Uh, you know, when you're young, the whole world is open to you. Uh, the hardest part is figuring out where you want to sit and where, what part of the chain you want to be. For me, I always knew I wanted to be a truck driver because, well, I grew up on the road with my dad on, in, during summers, and I knew a lot about it, and I knew I loved it. I knew this was the part of the, the chain I wanted to be. Henry says, how is the land working for you? It's sitting there. It's doing good. 
It's earning me money. It is growing in value. It, it, it is doing what investments do. It is worth more now than when I bought it. So that makes me happy. Lots of comments, so many comments. Oh, and I can't hold my phone steady here. I'm trying to read this all. This guy's backing in in front of me and he's got his high beams on right in my face. Like, who pulls into the truck stop at night with their high beams on? Hello? You have bright lights. Figure it out. I'm going to turn my lights on in his face. Ha! Take that! Didn't get the hint. Still has him on. Some people, man. <sighs> Gabriel Clausen, you gave me a shout-out at the trucker show. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's awesome. I really wish I could have been there. Hello from Brazil. Hello. Am I ever coming to BC? Well, if I ever get sent there. Buckets Life says, thank you for your words. You are a great person. He loved to just talk and be funny. I fell. He got my face. I think that might have been a typo. And he got your face. Oh, it's carbon paper once. Didn't know my face was blue till the truck stopped. <laughs> Some good memories. He was talking about his father who passed away on the road. Oh, asleep. There, I see the correction. We haven't made any announcements or anything, Henry. We're still waiting to, uh, to find out on that. Uh, once we have some news on how, on all this IVF, because, uh, I explained it in a vlog a little while ago that we just went a little silent on the IVF when we started the whole transfer process. We have two embryos that are uh, viable and uh, ready. So at this point, we're just keeping this uh, between us, uh, between us and our families. And, uh, you know, if it works out or if it doesn't, uh, we'll let you know as soon as we're ready. But uh, don't worry. Uh, if it works out, there will be a big, big announcement video. And if it doesn't work out, I'll make sure to make an announcement video too. That one would be more sad. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll let you guys know uh, uh, when, when we're ready. How old am I now? Carl says, I am 34 years young. Halfway to 68. Oh, Henry says, I know I've been watching you and Britt since y'all got together. Yeah, that's awesome. So you've been watching our whole journey through IVF. It's been a long one. It's a long process. You know, I'd love to make a video once of the entire fertility IVF process once with Britt. Because uh, it's, it's something we knew nothing about. And there's so much more to it than we realized. And I think a lot of people don't know what all, what all happens. And I think it'd be kind of neat to share our whole story start to finish. Uh, but right now the story is ongoing and uh, you know when we got some answers for you and uh, we got something to share uh, we're not gonna keep it from you don't worry we're um, I'm, I'm, I'm a vlogger so I'm a sharer but uh, we also don't want to uh, jump the gun on anything and uh, we want to see what these two viable embryos will will do but yeah, we just went silent on, on that for a little while. But don't worry, I'm not abandoning that topic. It's still very, uh, very much... I'm still going to share it. Don't worry. Uh, Judy says, your hubs talking, heard me talking, asking if that was Josh. Hello, John. That's me. You know my voice. 
Johnny says, you may feel old. I'm 40 in six months. Halfway to 80. <laughs> That's not that much older than me. You're what? Five and a half years older than me? That's nothing. I'm almost 40. If you think about it. Depends what scale we're using. No, I haven't been riding my motorcycle at all, Patrick. I uh, I wish I was, but I haven't. I haven't been. Thanks, Adam. Says keep up the good work. Kenworth is the best. Says Jacob. Yes. Thank you, Henry. I appreciate the prayers. Anyways, uh, I gotta go to bed. There's so many comments here. I want to read them all, and I'd love to just keep hanging out here. Keep hanging out with with you guys but I can barely keep my eyes open as you can tell I can't even hold my phone steady so thanks for putting up with my shaky live footage I appreciate that uh, so once again if you tuned in late uh, I just wanted to come on here and address that uh, there was a truck show I'll just say it one more time there was a truck show in Steinbach that I said I was gonna be at and uh, there were some of some of my followers who had driven a, a little bit of a distance to come there and say hi and hang out and uh, trucking happened and this week got stretched out for me and I wasn't able to make it and I didn't announce it. I was just sort of bummed out quietly by myself and I should have said something. Though by the time I found out that I wasn't going to be there, it may have been too late because we thought we were going to be home today. Uh, didn't work out and I just, I, I just felt really bad. But I hope you guys did have a good time there. I hope that the fundraisers went well and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video.